memories are interesting because not only do you remember that particular moment with that particular person but there's also an emotion emotional attachment with that it's like as soon as you remember that you start to remember the smell you start to remember the feeling you start to remember the people that's right and sometimes that that even that experience that memory motivates you to do it to do better yes exactly and to do that to do better to it is it's something about that moment it's just something about that moment that, that no one could take away from you no one i don't you, it doesn't you know how some people see things a different way but it's something about that moment you can't change that so it's wonderful it's a wonderful thing I, and i have so many memories even f- as far back as my grandparents mm. you know I, re- i remember my grandmother being a really good cook both of them and that's that's what they did and i remember when i first started cooking my grandmother was my one of my biggest critics mm-hmm. i think you need to add a little more sugar to this honey <laughs> and i remember one day she was she just kept pushing on it pushing on it you just have to put a little more sugar you put okay you know it was just like okay i get it but um i learned from that and look at how many years that was and i still remember that moment right. so that's what i said memory is golden right yeah, yeah. cuz most of the time you your memories capture your emotions your feelings but when you just um you know when you just become materialistic it's not really the material that you hold to that memory it's the feeling right you know the feeling or what you had to go through mm-hmm. to achieve and reward yourself with that item right you know that's why we say you know sometimes when the, when you work so hard for something mm-hmm. and you finally end up getting the reward or what you earned it's so much better right. and at that point the material doesn't work i mean the material doesn't matter mm-hmm. all there is is the feeling that's right that's yeah right. Mm-hmm. and all you're looking for after that is okay how can i get this feeling again again yeah <laughs> yes my son my my middle child my son he's uh, um he's big on horses and he's you know jockey and he does all the horses and horse races and things like that mm. and we always go down memory lane you know, how the horse is supposed to be treated and be supposed to be groomed how the race we went to uh top golf and oh. they had they had the horse races and we sat and we we bet on the horses you know amongst each other we wrote down who we thought were going to win and all that and then we remember the races that we had in the past and how to remember how to bet on the horses you know who was the favorites and all of that and those are good memories too i mean he is really into the horses and the horses here in forward yeah oh. yeah forward we own star and you know we used to back in the days go to ross downs and all that so all those memories are golden too right so how many horses does he have <sighs> too many really <laughs> So he, the, he does he do all the maintenance on those horses? Yes. Really? He trusts himself with his horses. Yeah. Isn't that like a full-time job almost? Yes. Really? For him, he's dedicated to those horses. You got to feed them. Feed them. You got to change what is it the the hooves? No. You have to change their horseshoes. The horseshoes. There you yes. go. Their you horseshoes. Their <laughs> yes. Yeah. You got to trim them. You got to It's a lot of work. Yeah. Well, um My dad used to work at um Santa Anita Park mm-hmm. in California and you know when we came over here to United States that's where he worked and that luckily that that company was able to provide him with a small room mm-hmm. a small room where he was able to stay and work right and that's where we ended up mm-hmm. so you had all of us mm-hmm. you know my mom my dad uh my brothers and my sister all living in the in the same room right. and um we would be we would all be you know wake up to horse horse poop we yep. were here mm-hmm. <laughs> smell horse smell hay and everything and it it's great also in memories that you know there was a starting point 
from there and where where we are now right. you know and what all the all the struggles that even my dad had to come across just for us to have you know just for us to have the privilege to come over here yeah. And those memories make you better. Right. And that's what you want for your family. The, the things that you had to endure may be some of the things you don't want your children to endure. And then it's some things that you do have to instill in them so that, you know, everything would be okay for them. 